to volunteers bring food and other supplies to support the armed forces helping out in the disaster area. Tizi's footprint of love has reached Uganda, the 11th country that Tizi helps in Africa. 欢迎收睇大 headlines， 我系 Ruby， 我哋一齐嚟睇下今日嘅内容。In Gaoxiong Liugui District, landslides have caused severe damage to communities. The ROC armed forces marched into the disaster area, cleaning silt while clearing out the roads. The volunteers went with food and supplies to care for the soldiers working there. After a short moment of sunshine, rain arrived once more. The Chen's family's courtyard has been heavily damaged by the landslides. 连续半个月的豪雨，高雄六龟区这户人家可以说是最严重。你可以看到里里外外都是土石流淹没的痕迹。屋主说，八十年来这是头一遭。我得倒擦干了。I have to organize everything. I don't know what to do. I have to feed multiple dogs too. A home that is no longer there. Miss Chan feels sorrowful. Her son living across the street was also impacted by the landslides. 土石啊，从后面。The landslide came in from behind, next to a side ditch. The landslide has jammed the ditch. The landslide then turned directions and flooded behind our house. It's so serious. Typhoon Morakot didn't even cause this much damage. The 15 days of continuous rain has moisturized the dirt uphill. For the past two to three days, the heavy rainfall caused the landslide. 高雄连日豪雨，大批的土石冲进了新发社区，国军出动了机具紧急抢通。The ROC armed forces arrived to help with clearing out roads and removing sits in both Liu Gui, Xinfa, and Shangpin community. Soldiers can be seen everywhere helping out locals. When people need us, we will be at the front line. When we suffer, there will always be people supporting us. When we need help, Ziqi will always support us. We have to be the shield for ROC armed forces. We are here to cheer for them. There's water everywhere, and the rainfall might cause danger. Since the ROC armed forces are here to help out, Tiji must support them. The army loves us, so we must be respectful. I hope everyone can be safe from this disaster. Tiji volunteers brought bread, rice, noodles, sport drinks, and other supplies, hoping to support soldiers of ROC armed forces in their efforts to clear out the disaster area. Roads in Gaoxiong's mountainous areas were cut off, and Suzu's brought into action to give aid to the trapped Taoyuan district. Gaoxiong Mayor Chen Qi Mai took a helicopter with 600 kilograms of supplies in person to the disaster area to care for the residents. Boxes of materials are packed and weighed. Each box cannot exceed 6 kilograms because it has to be airlifted to the disaster area. During the survey of the disaster area, I happened to meet the mayor who mentioned to me that they hope Ziji can provide supplies. Because of the weight limitation, we will prepare 40 boxes first. In these boxes, there were heartwarming Jingsa aphorisms which were delivered to the airport. At the same time, people in Taoyuan district gathered before the scheduled landing. Here they shout their needs to the camera as they look forward to the arrival of the helicopter. At Shaogang Airport, the helicopter took off at 1 p.m., but the mountainous climate deteriorated and forced a return. At 3.15, Mayor Chen Qimai took off again with two helicopters, bringing a total of 600 kilograms of civilian supplies. The helicopter landed smoothly, and the strong wind could not stop the people from turning out. Seeing the mayor appear, a man picked up a child and reported to the mayor that he was safe. Hurry up and clear the Mingbaklu Bridge. The work period can be shortened to 16 or 14 days. Every week, there will be two flights, Tuesday and Friday, to transport supplementary materials to ensure the safety of residents. The mayor and a doctor personally went to Taoyuan District to soothe the people, provide medical treatment. As for the material aid, it was filled with blessings and was successfully delivered to the people. Xinzhu Suzu Volunteers and Hansan Junior High School cooperated to distribute boxes of fruits and vegetables and other supplies to disadvantaged students. The Hansan Township Farmers Association also helped with the contents of the fruits and vegetable boxes. Some parents reciprocated by donating bamboo cum banks, which they had been saving for a year. The staff at the local Farmers Association packed the materials one by one. 250 fruit and vegetable boxes were later distributed to disadvantaged students in rural areas. 
considering the fact that many rural residents grow vegetables at home, the contents of this batch of fruit and vegetable boxes were especially adjusted. They are milk, oil and soy sauce. These are all necessary items for a family. There's other canned food which can be kept a little longer. At Hongshan Middle School, 24 boxes of fruit and vegetables along with Ziji's box of supplies and two packs of white rice were loaded onto the truck of the Farmers Association and sent to the students' homes. Seeing the volunteers, the student came out excitedly to greet them and help move the boxes. The level 3 pandemic alert has shut down many industries and parents who run small businesses are also affected and many lost their source of income. In Nei Wan now, some vendors are unable to do business. As they are not registered, they can't get any subsidies. Including low and middle income households, the families of some 64 percent of students at Hong San Junior High School are economically disadvantaged. Shift work schedules implemented now have caused a lot of inconvenience. It's relatively difficult as your income is reduced and it becomes very difficult for everyone to get by. <laughs> Coming to classmate Liu's house after receiving the supplies, the father brought out the bamboo coin banks, which contain more than a year's worth of change. Even if the family is not well off, the whole family insisted on giving back to society, which is a precious proof of the good cycle of love. The principal of Hansan Junior High School and Suzu volunteers arrived at the home of the Yu family with the food and living boxes. The family has three children initially, though the eldest son has passed away recently due to a cardiopulmonary arrest. Besides bringing supplies to the family, volunteers also brought care to the siblings. Bring a care package, a vegetable package, and two bags of rice. Volunteers along with HSJH principal arrived at the Yu family's house. With the house being right beside a railroad, the home that was originally a dormitory for Taiwan Railway employees is now the home for the Yu family. Being 97 years old, senior Yu is still energetic as he speaks in a confident tone. He takes care of three children using his retirement pensions. With the mother leaving early and a busy father working outside, most of the time the three siblings had to take care of each other, but unfortunately, the oldest brother passed away. At four in the morning, I was watching television with my brother, but when we were watching TV, he told me that he was feeling uncomfortable. He went upstairs and I brought this device with him. Relying on oxygen cylinder since youth, the oldest brother of the three passed away before Father's Day due to cardiopulmonary arrest. The younger brother and sister had a hard time accepting the reality. I miss my brother. I feel lonely and it's hard to recover. I thought I was still dreaming. It's impossible. It took me a few days to catch up with reality. Volunteers' careful reminders are for both the brother and sister, hoping that the both of them can eat healthily in order to get through the pain of losing their beloved brother. The Foundation's Footprints of Love in Africa has reached Uganda, which is the 11th African country with Tzu's help. The first seat there is a Malaysian entrepreneur Xiao Qingxiang, who followed his elder brother to work in Africa. Two years ago, he joined his elder brother to help impoverished families in Zambia. Later, he did the same in Uganda, hosting the first distribution to help nearly 100 local families. Madam. I hope this one we give to you. Uh, your life will be changed. Everything will be will be will be good. Uh, 
and healthy also. Thank you very well, much. Okay. City Foundation's Footprints of Love in Africa has progressed, delivering corn flour with respect and best wishes. Entrepreneur So Chen Son has led his employees to distribute food in Kayungan of central Uganda. Hopefully, you can uh, you get this uh, the, the bean seeding after you planted, after you have you harvest, and you give give this uh, love to other people, your surrounding, uh, your your your, your friends. Uganda and Eastern Africa is an inland country. 80% of the people farm for a living. Their incomes are unstable and there's a gap between the cities and countryside. Volunteers have chosen to hold their first distribution in the countryside. It's a small uh, donation can bring you, uh, can bring love to you. You also uh, plant it with, together with the neighbor so we can uh, uh, Meaning this, this seed will grow and, and grow the love also in our heart. Although this is the first time City is delivering love in Uganda, the volunteers' distribution ceremony has followed City's principle of gratitude, respect and love. It is because So Chen Son has followed his elder brother to help the poor in Zambia. So he has carried out the same ceremony in Uganda. His employees also recognize City's principles and ceremonies. After donating something small to the community, uh, it has changed my life and uh, I also thank the Suchi group, they give out to the community so that those people can love each other. Over the course of two days, volunteers distributed corn flour and soybean seeds, helping nearly a hundred families. They helped to help the families in need get through the tough times. The COVID outbreak in Malaysia continues to grow with more than 20,000 confirmed cases in a single day last Friday. With the increase in hospitalized patients, there has been a shortage of medical resources. Since the volunteers continue to provide medical equipment and support to medical staff, standing with them to fight against the pandemic. The hospital Tengku Apuan Afsan is the only hospital in Pahang, Malaysia that accepts COVID-19 patients. Recently, the hospitalization rate has skyrocketed. At present, we have opened a lot of dedicated wards to treat COVID-19 patients. These wards need additional medical equipment. In a race to save lives, DG volunteers donated medical equipment to relieve the pressure facing frontline medical staff. The hospital has requested items from Ziji, which we hope to donate, such as medical equipment for the emergency ward, including hospital beds, ventilators, and ultrasound machines. I think our hospital is very fortunate. The pandemic in Malaysia is very serious, but the power of mutual assistance among all people is great, and we can help each other. I believe the pandemic will be overcome soon. Facing the same medical needs, at the Sultana Amina Hospital, volunteers collected everyone's love and compassion and donated 25 beds so that critically ill patients would not be turned away. Because the number of patients with COVID has been increasing, the ward has been increased with one room divided into two rooms. So we really need beds. Thank you very much to all the donors. I thank you on behalf of the hospital. Receiving these beds help us a lot as it reduces our workload. May all donors be blessed. This is not the first time Ziji has donated. You have donated medical equipment to us many times. On behalf of the hospital, I would like to express my infinite gratitude to the donors. Thanks to all the caring people from Ziji. All sectors of society are coming to support frontline doctors and medical workers who are doing a tireless task in protecting the health of all of us. In Malacca, Malaysia, artist He Xiao Xing, who lives in poverty, is losing vision on his eyes. Upon learning about it, the volunteers immediately arranged for him an examination in a free clinic, calming his heart with firm support. I'm a man who's badly off. Do you understand frustrated? It is poverty-stricken. I didn't even eat and almost starved to death. I'm not kidding. 
There are many paintings on the walls. Because of the pandemic, it's difficult to find people to buy them. Park So Hin said that he had a talent but no opportunity, and plus, his physical illness made him lose hope. Can you help me with this? Because I don't have money, I also need money to see a doctor. Frankly speaking, if I have an operation, I also need a sum of money. I don't know what to say. I hope you can help me. It's only been more than two months, but my eyesight grew dim. Ho so Hin, who used to be a Ciji care recipient, and Ciji also subsidized him for his eye disease surgery. Rubbing or rubbing your eyes will accidentally hit the lens of the eyeball and fall off. The doctor will take out the lens, put the new one in. If you have an operation at the Malaka General Hospital, it will be cheaper. If you buy another lens, the doctor will also help to install it. I'm afraid I can't see both eyes suddenly. It turned out to be the problem with the lens of my eyes, so I feel at ease. I really want to thank you. The doctor's professional explanation made him relieved. He also remembered the kindness of the volunteers during the Chinese New Year reunion dinner. Now that he is in trouble again, everyone has not forgot him and gave him the financial assistance to help him to get through the difficulties. Mrs. Xie, who suffered from diabetes and high blood pressure, was bedridden for a long time due to a stroke. Cixi's so assistive device team has sent her an electric bed and other needed assistive devices. Although recently Mrs. Xie died of a serious illness, her son thanked Cixi for their long-term care. At a steep slope of nearly 45 degrees meets Tima, who are led by volunteers who lead them to Ms. Xie who lives on the hillside. She has been bedridden for a long time, was in poor health and needed medical care. Mrs. Xie has diabetes, high blood pressure, and stay in bed after the stroke. Her child is very filial and took care of her. After she was bedridden, she got some pressure sores on the sole of her feet. Physicians and nurses helped Ms. Xie clean up the wounds. Before leaving, they had a special consultation with volunteers. Hope to ask the assistive device team to help send the equipment they needed. Tima made a request to us, the assistive device team in the northern district. So we hurry to get a hospital bed. This makes it more convenient for him to take care of his mother. So we just quickly send it there. Just over two months after Ms. Xie was admitted to the hospital for treatment, Ziji's assistive device platform helped to arrange the delivery of an electric bed and related assistive devices. They chose to deliver it to her home before she was discharged from the hospital. Mother stays in bed for a long time, and she will develop bed sores. This electric bed is helpful for those of us who are poor. Feeling helpless during the pandemic, regular visits by Tima and volunteers were interrupted. When the volunteers revisited at the end of July, Ms. Xie had passed away. But in order to show gratitude for Ziji's assistance, a son specially handed over recyclables he collected to the volunteers who brought them back to the recycling station. After he received us, he said he had some recycled items like bottles and cans. He also said sincerely, that he would like to donate a little bit of strength and effort to help everyone. The loving companionship of volunteers allows a seriously ill mother to suffer less before her death, also allows a filial son to fulfill his filial piety. 60-year-old teacher Bei Bei suffered a stroke five years ago. Because of an injury at home, she was admitted to Danning Geriatric Center for nine months. Owing to the pandemic, her family could not went there to celebrate her 60th birthday. Yet, the Jerry Church Center staff arranged a video call with her family, giving her an unforgettable birthday. Through the video call, Danning Geriatric Center was celebrating teacher Bei Bei's 60th birthday with her family, who had a brain surgery and a stroke five years ago. 
的一个阶段是一个很大的节日，这样子。In fact, 60 years old is a big day in life. On behalf of her family, we gave her an unforgettable 60th birthday in the geriatric center. By using a video call, we celebrated her birthday with her children, her husband, and even her brother together. Nine months ago, she came here after being discharged from the hospital. Back then, she was weak on the left side and could only rely on others' assistance. Now she has great improvement. In the beginning, she moved around in a wheelchair. After her muscles was trained to a certain level, she was a walking aid until now. With our company, she can complete its daily care by herself. Thank you for coming. I deeply appreciated it. I'm moved to tears. I want to cry. Happy birthday, brother! Thank you, thank you, everyone. I have the happiest birthday. Infusing holistic warm care into medical profession, the geriatric center strives its best to provide the elderly with an unforgettable memory. Taichung Tzu's volunteers had a warm discussion with Master Zhen Yan and Jing Si about recently. They brought handmade gifts to the master, including bookmarks and Zhongzi made of rushes, blessing charms, and a large seed collage of Jing Si abode. Let's join them there. A large collage of Jing Si abode was done by Tzu Tzu volunteers from Taichung, who spent three months to paste the seeds from 14 common vegetables and wood one by one. During the pandemic, the missing feelings towards the master are all infused in a carefully designed rush grass bookmarks and blessing charms. The bundles of rush grass zhongzi also has a special meaning. We hope that the bundles of rush grass zhongzi can spread the spirit of Dharma lineage to 334 points around the world. We have brought 1,972 pieces of bookmarks and blessing charms, as well as 53 bundles of rush grass zhongzi. Although we have not yet finished 334 bundles of zhongzi, we'll definitely finish it. We have listened to the master to treat the senior sisters in our community as our own family. Volunteers have not forgotten and the master's advice to recruit bodhisattvas. We have to recruit bodhisattvas and cultivate talents. We also need to unite and cooperate with each other. Everyone will follow the master's advice to move forward diligently. Instilling the spirit of Dhamma lineage deep into their hearts, volunteers will continue to give with their love and joy. In Taoyuan district, Kaohsiung, apart from receiving supplies from the country government and Suzi, residents also rushed to help prepare the roads and link water pipes. We'll leave you with these images. Thank you and see you next time.